Warm 5406 here. Following up my previous videos on the anemones, the three in this tank, this is the 120 by the way, is the purple one that's sitting in front of you, purple blue. You can see the red in the reflection to the left and just over the edge there you can see the green one in the far distance. All three anemones in this 120 are doing wonderful. Clowns are cohabitating pretty nicely. The other two in the other tank, the two red um, Hadanis that are sitting in there are doing pretty good at this time. Today we're going to change up our feeding. It's been uh, four days, I do believe, since I fed last. Uh, last time it was shrimp. Today it's going to be some tuna. So I'll give you a little bit to take a look at this. Blue anemone sitting here. I'm going to change their camera angle here in a little bit. It actually fell over in the middle of recording, so uh, so I just do a cut here in just a minute. Um, as you can see there, the Chromis is sitting there trying to swim around. And of course, he wants to be a clown also. I guess he was lived a different life as a clown at some point. The uh, Pajama Cardinals swim around every now and then get close. Funny thing is, whenever I'm feeding the anemones, you can definitely see the uh, pajamas and the clowns come over. The pajamas and the cardinals come over, I should say, and the clowns like to push them off and move them out of the way. So over here on this side, just a slightly different view, different angle. Just a, more of a top down, off to the side a little bit. You can see the red Adani sitting there in the middle, doing lovely, all spread, uh, all spread and stretched out. Green one sitting way back there in the distance. Like I said earlier, still doing wonderful. You can see some Xena sitting in there. Um, I did add a few snails that are sitting there in that front glass. You can see them slowly cleaning away. Um, the algae that's sitting there just was in a bad spot when the Xenias used to sit there in the front, so I kind of cover the edge a little bit and I get in there pretty soon and scrape it down and try to clean it up just a little bit. The view we're looking at here is um, right below the MP40 but off to the side just a little bit sitting there in the rock work if you ever look at the webcam. You can see here the clowns trying to show a little dominance and do our normal clown dance, dance back and forth. Of course somebody gets a little irritated and nipped every now and then. The original inhabitants of this tank are the two orange clowns the black and white, and then I added 18, yes, that's 18, 1, 8, of the white and orange. The correct name of them, I'm not really sure. I know they're not um, Wyoming whites, Wisconsin whites. Um, I really do need to get the name and get the correct, uh, their heritage at least, and try to figure out where they exactly came from. The feeding, like I said, we're going to do is the tuna, but I want you to take a look here in just a minute as the tuna hits the anemone, the way that it kind of shimmies when it's being fed. Kind of interesting looking, the way that the anemone just stops. All my anemones I've ever had in the past have always done the same thing. They've kind of stopped for a second and then kind of just did a little shimmy. So we changed our angle again, decided to get a little better angle just down the bottom. Here comes the tuna coming in from the top. Tuna looks really big, it's really not. Watch this, see how just the whole entire enemy just suddenly collapses back down upon itself. And then it goes back to moving and moving around a little bit. Obviously that's a reflex of the enemy just to sense whatever it has and try to get ready for any movement or getting an attack of some sort. Um, the enemy is going to start pulling here in just a minute and pulling the tuna in. Fast forward just for a few seconds. Um, you can see it's definitely pulling it right into its mouth. Funny thing is I landed it not on purpose because I kind of dropped it from the edge and landed it almost near its mouth. So it didn't really have much work to do. It just kind of pulled up its edges a little bit and just kind of pulled it right in towards its mouth. Yes, the clowns are trying to get a little nip or two off it every now and then. They weren't luckily enough to have tuna for dinner tonight. So here you can see just a little bit further. I wanted to show you the view as it kind of folds its edge up and pushes it a little more in the mouth. You can see the bottom edge of it sitting there 
the way the angle of the um, clowns are swimming over the top of their shadows putting on it, you can see the bottom edge of it just a little bit. Jumping over to the view of the green gig, you can see here the angle and all. There's the red one there in the background. We're going to zoom in here a little bit just on the green so you can see it a little bit better. Before we zoom in though, let's go ahead and feed it. The f um, size of tuna is roughly about the same size as the um, gig got on the other side and the Hadani got about the same size also. So we're going to drop that in here about the same way. It does look really big, but keep in mind these are baby clowns. If you watch this enemy there, the same exact motion, kind of senses for a second, tightens down, uh, getting the same thing. Luckily I guess it just dropped it about the same angle, just dropped it right over its mouth area. give you just a view of the under edge of the green gig sitting here also. The color, the movement and everything is beautiful. No issues, no problems. They get a quite a bit of movement just from the two MP40 sitting at both ends. If you go to Reef Central you can see the thread in my current uh, gig thread in the anemone section will show you the way the power heads are set up in their cycles as they cycle throughout the day. Um, it will shrink down here in just a little bit. It's kind of hard to see but um, it's the way this girth, the way it was laying out was obviously soaking as many rays as it could at the time. There you can see some of the snails in the front glass working quite a bit on the little algae that we had sitting there. Right about where that um, algae is sitting there, right below it, I had quite a bit of uh, a, a good stack of uh, zinnia sitting there, zinnia sitting there, and kind of just blocked that edge. I couldn't get very well to cleaning it. There you can see the bottom edge of this green gig sitting there in its pattern. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoy watching my little oasis here at home. Both the 120 and the 180 are always being watched by a webcam. You can look at it anytime. I'll put a link down at the bottom of the video here. You can take a look at it whenever you want to. If you have any questions, want to see something different, different view or different angle, go ahead and write a comment down at the bottom. You can also send me a private message. Also, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.